Hey guys, so I decided that I am going to make Swedish meatballs for my husband and my brother. So I already started, I just cut up an onion and I put it in my nonstick favorite pan. <laughs> and I'm going to continue, oops, sorry about the finger. Not in that way either, people. I'm going to continue on, I'm getting ready to do the mushrooms. But I have to find something to prop you up and hopefully don't fall over. Getting ready to do some muffins. I just went to the grocery store, so hopefully. Hi, guys. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to cut up mushrooms. I have a diced up onion, but I diced it very small. And that's going to be going into my meatballs. And then I'm going to do the same for my mushrooms. i got to clean them, though. got to wipe my mushrooms. I don't want yucky, dirty stuff all over. Nice and quiet. Went to the eye doctor. Just for a normal diabetic eye checkup for my primary. I have to go every three months for those. Every six months for my regular checkup. So, got that out of the way this morning. Went and got air in my tires. Yes, folks, I put air in my tire. Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> I went to the tire place and asked them if they could put some in for me. No problem, he did. He was really nice about it. Let me clean up my little mess here. All right. So now we're just going to chop up some mushrooms for it. I like to keep these big. I haven't started the pan yet at all. Because I do want to put these together and sweat them out. I'm not going to cook them, cook them. I'm going to sweat them out. Which means I'm just going to make them soft and the onions opaque. Or peck, or peck. <laughs> you know, clear almost. I'm only adding a little bit of olive oil to it because I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to fry it. I have my oven going because I am going to cook my meatballs in the oven first and add them in later because if you add them too soon, they become mushy. For me, I that's how I like it anyway. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but I pick them out. Whoops, there's part of the stem. Don't eat the stem. Too woodsy. But fresh mushrooms, I can handle. It's that canned stuff or the mushy ones. Ugh. Yuck. All right. Now we're going to cut some up also for the meatballs. I am not putting peppers in there. I'm putting them in, in my meatballs. So I got a couple extra mushrooms over here. Let me clean them off. And these, you don't need many. Two might be even more than enough. Let me get out a little knife. Alright. Got my little knife. I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't see. Cut them pretty thinly. You don't want them thick. Okay. Then you're going to take them and turn them on its side. And I cut it two more times. So they're nice and tiny. And you want just little bitty pieces. Nothing major. And these even seem too big. So I think I'm going to take my big knife and chop them down. But that's okay. It is what it is cooking it's not a science it's just it is what it is I mean well I guess it is a science for some people but I'm not a master chef so I do it my way because I can make it the way you like it my husband if he knew there was sour cream in here he wouldn't eat it so that's why I never tell him when I make these <laughs> I'm such a sneak gotta love it like I said, I'm going to run the knife, the big knife through them anyway. So, a rough chop here is okay because I didn't cut them small enough. I like them smaller. Especially where they're going in the meatball. Keep your fingers out of the way, folks. Keep your fingers out of the way. Oh, my hair, sorry. It is up. My hair is up, but it's in a ponytail. I probably should have just put it up in a messy bun so it doesn't get... See? 
up nice and small. Gonna make the meatballs. These things are in there. Have you ever made porcupine pie meatballs? Oh, I love them. Look at my porcupine pie meatballs are just meatballs, but you put dry rice in them. Make sure it's dry. Because <laughs> when you go to cook it, it expands. Right, there's my mushrooms and my onions. Gonna mix that up. I'm gonna put a little season on now. Because I am gonna season the meat also. And my husband lives off this stuff. I don't know if you ever had it, but he lives off it. Some pepper. I hate the color. I hate the color. When I cook, I really don't use the color. Probably should, but I don't measure anyway, as you can see. I'm not a measuring person. All right, so those are seasoned. I'm just going to tuck them aside while I go. And we cut up a little bit of the green pepper. All right, let me rinse this off a little bit. Like I said, I just got home from grocery, so. Don't know how many people have touched this pepper before me. Got to wash it. Yeah. And we're going to dry it a little bit. All right, that's good. You're not going to need a lot of this either. Probably use a quarter of it. I said I don't put it in the sauce in the in the Swedish meatball sauce and I do the lazy man Swedish meatballs I don't know how the other people make it I've never got taught I just taught myself so it is what it is and again you want to make them small like I said they are going in the meat so you want them small I'm banging my ears making my ears run all right. All righty. I mean, it's cold here today. I mean, it's cold, cold. It was, um, when I left this morning, I left here about 8.30ish, and it was 10 degrees. Yeah, just a little bit chilly. And then Thursday and Friday, we're supposed to be up in the 60s. 50s, 60s, they're saying. I just want to make sure they're all nice and small. You don't want mush, obviously. But... All right, let's add those to the onions and the mushrooms. And let's mix them up. These are the best tools you'll ever have. Especially in cooking. Don't be afraid to get a little dirty. Alright, so we're gonna set those aside. Let me wash my board, wipe my board down. I have um a elephant bulb is it? <laughs> elephant garlic bulb is what it's called. It's a great big giant um garlic bulb. And I plan on making homemade garlic butter and I already took the butter out and let it just chill out. Let it get room temperature. All right, so I'm going to turn this on low, just to, a little bit of olive oil. I did about a teaspoon, nothing more. I have no seasoning in here whatsoever, nothing. Because I don't want to season this before, because I have to add cream cheese. I'm adding some sour cream. And then... Because I'm not a huge mushroom fan, I'm going to use two cans of mushroom soup and one can of cream of chicken. All right, I need this a little bit higher so I can get a little bit going. So let me show you here. Here we go. You got your onions and your mushrooms. Like I said, I'm just going to sweat them down some. With this, you don't want to make them brown because this is a white pretty much a white sauce so that's what that is let's put you up here oh i, I put my finger in your eyeball again didn't i sorry <laughs> i'm gonna get the cans ready my garbage is right there i love it little turn boom it's in the trash Sometimes when I want to make these, if I if I get up early enough and I want to, if I feel the energy, 
um, I'll put them in a crock pot and just let them go for the day. But this way it's a little faster the way I'm doing it. Okay, let's take care of these peppers. for a snack later. Refrigerator. Alright. Alright, the cans are open. These are going. Get my cream cheese open. bought some chocolate and stuff for Easter. Get, I'm starting to get the supplies ready before I leave for Easter. So when I get back, I don't have to worry about it. Alright, I need a bowl. This is two and a quarter pounds of Hamburg. Up go the sleeves. On go the gloves. Grab an egg. One egg. Anyway, because that's who I am. This stuff is amazing. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, it's upside down, but you can see it. Master gravy. I wanted a big bottle, but they didn't have any. I'm only going to add maybe a teaspoon. That's it. You want to talk about flavor? Wow. Sizzling, so I'm going to turn it down. I don't want it so low that they're not cooking, but not too high where they fry. Okay. Just trying to work in that gravy master a little bit before I add everything, even though I'm gonna mix it again. But all right, on it. Veggies. I am gonna add a little bit of breadcrumb, not a lot. I do not add mustard, ketchup, and all that. That's for meatloaf. Whoever makes it that way, but my husband makes it with barbecue sauce. I never complain because it's delicious. Very little. Um, Seasoning 
about a half a cup. I'm not done with the can. Because this is a non-stick, I don't want to ruin my pan. I mix my soups together before I, so this way they're blended well. I need a better whisk. This thing is a piece of glue. But it'll work. What I need it to do. Alright. Those are all blended. I'll show you. Let me get this glove on. Alright. See that's all blended. The, the chicken and the mushroom together. Just gives it another level of flavor. I'm not a straight up mushroom girl. All right, so now with these cans, I gotta find something else to prop you up on. I'm taking my prop. Let's try this for now. I know it's not the best, but it'll do while I'm doing this. Full. 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 little rubber spatula and then I take my sides so that you get all the mushroom soup out mix it pour it clean cup clean pit can well you're not wasting it either can't waste two clean and three if you find this is uh, too thick, you can always add more milk. If you want to equal milk to soup, so like three cans of soup, three cans of milk. Alright, my oh. And as you know, I use a lot of paper towels. Let's put the milk on my counter. Come on, I ran the tree shoot. All right. Gotta mix that up real well. I have this on low now. And I'm just gonna let it sit on very low and just let it do its thing. You know, the flavor of the mushroom and the onion. And then once this is, once I've done my meatballs, those will go in very last. Boop. See? There goes that whisk. Another one bites the dust, so they say, where did I, oh, I'm using it as a prop. All right, so I'm going to add some pepper. Got to switch props. <laughs> Hard for you to see what that bowl of meat right in front of you, isn't it? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> All right, some garlic. 
You can always add more later. All right, now. I'm gonna do my sour cream. That's about one and a half tablespoons. Two. I'm gonna add three tablespoons. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, with my spoon in here. All right. Now this stuff will, it'll all melt into each other. It might be chunky right now, but it will blend in. It will melt in. Same with the cream cheese. The cream cheese is a pain in the butt because it's like it doesn't want to melt. Don't, it will melt, but it doesn't want to. So I put it in in, in chunks. Just small. This puts the nice tartness in it. This is how I, I know how to do it. I'm sure there's other ways or the proper way, but this is my way. And you can do it your way. You don't want a lot of mushroom? Don't add a lot of mushroom. You like mushroom? Add more mushroom. You don't taste the sour cream in this at all. And you do get the little tang from the cream cheese, but not, not overwhelming. You know what I mean? So, okay, one more, and this one's just a half a slice, and I'm a mess, gotta love it. Oh, I'm starting to smell that garlic in the oven. I'm roasting it. Yeah, come on, get off me. fresh paper towel. Like I said, these are your best tools. Okay, let's close that up. Put it in a bag. And now we're gonna roll some meat. I don't know how many of you, you know me, but you know my secret ingredient. I pretty much add to almost everything. About a half a teaspoon. And that's it. Just leave it on low and let it, just let it build its flavor. Really not a lot of mushrooms there. How many do I have left? I have four little baby ones. I might as well use them. So just have them sit there. They'll sit in the fridge and get mushy, you know? Ugh. Well, that one fell apart. There we go. That was easy enough. Gotta be clean though. Look, I see the dirt. You don't want that in your food. Not that you ever eaten dirt before, because I know I have. But uh, I'm an adult. I don't want to eat dirt anymore. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me just chop these up and throw them in there, you know. Might as well use the rest. wasn't really long though. All right, now we're gonna roll the meatballs. Well, this is on very low. Take this out. Move this to the sink. You. All right, you to the sink. 
it's easier for me. I bake, like I said, I bake my meatballs. It's so much easier and faster. Put a paper towel under there. I love how I talk to myself. So when I answer myself, I get a little nervous. New gloves. And over the watch. And then my diabetic bracelet. Oh, no, no, ain't gonna go over. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't need that there. So, I don't want baby meatballs, just so you know. We want a meatball. We want to know what's in the phone. Meepo. Now we roll. Me, I can tell by the how my hand how much makes the right size. Isn't that weird? I don't know why. I think everybody does. Oh yeah, that's the right size. There we go. We know how much to grab and oh. I'm baking these at 350. They usually only take about 15 minutes. Well, that one's a little bit big. Yeah, okay. I'm not as exact as I think I am. <laughs> oh. Make it the meatball. Make it the meatball. <laughs> Let me throw that in the sink. Get it away. And then I'll do the dishes as I go. So when I'm done this, I'm going to do all the dishes that I've already dirtied. This way, I don't have to worry about them later. Oh, man, I'm telling you, if you could smell the garlic in the oven. All I did was I took, um, my, I bought the elephant garlic. You don't have to. You can buy just the regular garlic bulb heads. What you do is you cut it in half with the skin on. You don't have to take the skin off. The elephant one I had too because all the skin pretty much came off when I cut the thing. And it's gigantic. But what you do is um, you cut it in half. You put it in a, aluminum foil. And you uh, pour a, olive oil over it. And wrap it up really good. Stick it in the oven. Um... Mine's on 350 right now because I was heating it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that smells so good. You want, you want to eat the garlic just as is, even though you, I wouldn't, but I would like to. But when you're done, you take it out. Well, it cooks for, I cook it for about a half hour. Just so that it, must be noontime. I hear my, my news coming on, yep. Not that I got all this stuff done nice and early. I love that. It means the rest of the day is mine. And I'll be on Ma's place doing uh craft and chat. And today I'm just gonna work on some diamond dot. I'm not doing any more wood burning until I can sell what I have. I have so much I just unless somebody orders something, it's Oh, I know what I should do. Silly me. Silly me. I say that to my grandson. Silly Elijah. So we're looking forward to Thursday and looking next Thursday. Looking forward to telling him that we're going. He doesn't even know yet. So that ought to be fun. Mm, come on, stick together. I hate that. Alright, there we go. 
got another meatball. I'm going to flip it over and just mix it so that all the goodies are still in there. And your best bet, honestly, don't use pre-frozen hamburger. If you buy, I mean, if you freeze the hamburger, you take it out, you go to make meatballs, you're just going to get shredded balls. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. But fresh, use the fresh stuff, you know. Don't freeze it. It makes a better meatball. It makes it sturdier. Frozen adds water to your meat. Especially when it defrost. So. I just got a fresh pack. Ooh, that one's almost the size of a baseball. Holy moly. I mean. <laughs> and I just make as many meatballs as... I don't like little tiny meatballs. I like them big so that, you know... You know you're biting into a meatball. And remember, this has already been seasoned because I seasoned the onions and the peppers and the uh, mushrooms. So they're already seasoned, so you don't have to worry about seasoning them now. Almost done. Not really. I've got about another half the bowl here. Well, there'll be plenty of meatballs. My husband will pick some out and give them to Ollie. So I, Ollie will have meatballs with dinner. It's fresh meatballs. He'll probably pick out the veggies. He usually does. <laughs> it's funny how they know, you know. How do you know they're in there? They just know. All right. This meatball doesn't want to stay together. What is up with that, guys? Come on. You don't have to wear gloves when you do this, but I don't like this stuff under my nails or on my rings, and I, I don't like that. It takes forever to get it out of your rings. Your fingernails are easy, it's the, the rings. Come on. All right, You're starting to give me a hard time. This one's just too big. Every time I go over there and I look at it, I'm like, oh my god, that thing's huge. Let's make it the 